Now at 11 near miss, the split second decision a pilot made just before crashing into a church parking lot, likely saving hundreds of lives and how two witnesses jumped into action to then save him. Good evening and thank you so much for joining us everyone. I'm Serena Fazan. John Sable is off tonight. A Gainesville man recovering tonight after his private plane spiraled to the ground, crashing just steps away from a Bartow church. ABC Action News reporter Kara Mashik has the brave actions church members took to rescue that pilot. When you look at this plane's wreckage resting between the trees, it's clear that there was more than one miracle here today. Steps away from a church, hundreds of lives spared and two angels waiting in the wings that jumped into action. Unbelievable. Yeah, that was the word. Unbelievable. 300 people listening to a Sunday sermon inside Good Hope Missionary Baptist Church in Bartow startled by a sudden power outage. We were about 15 minutes into our service and we heard a big boom and our lights flickered. So we thought actually it was thunder. A deacon peered out the back door to see a storm and this a small airplane crashed into these trees just steps from the church. Uh, it could have been catastrophic for us. Pastor Stevens and another church leader approached the plane and saw the pilot inside bleeding badly. The pilot told them something went wrong inside the aircraft. He knew it was going down. When he saw the church, he jerked the plane to avoid hitting the building. That's God all day long. The plane did smash through a power pole and plowed through this SUV, causing it to flip before ultimately stopping here. Two church members who are nurses rushed over. We both, we jumped in. We was like, delegating, do this, do that, get some power pressure, do this, somebody do this, do that. It was just instantly and I was just glad that we that I was here and was able to help as a nurse and this is what I do every day. The pilot was alert but with severe bleeding the nurses knew it was key to keep him conscious until EMTs arrived. I think he was in a state of shock because he was moving he was getting anxious so I was telling him just remember to breathe. I know you're, you're anxious, you're worried. You're going to be OK. We're here with you. We're not going to let anything happen to you. Morris believes it's no accident this church was spared and that two nurses were in the right place at the right time and helped save the pilot's life. And I know that God is with him and God was with us too as well. Still a lot of questions to be answered. Federal authorities, including the FAA and NTSB, will be out here investigating exactly what unfolded. Reporting in Bartow, Karamashik, ABC Action News.